Hi everyone, good morning. Happy Friday? Yes, happy Friday to you. Um, decided today to work on some neurographic art. You guys know what neurographic art is. If you don't, done a video previously on it. I'm gonna try to remember to link it. Let me make a note that I wanna link that. Link, link, previous video. Okay, link previous video. I will make a link somewhere of my previous video about neurographic. Um, and usually I do it on a blank piece. Um, but today, somebody, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately with uh, other people doing their neurographic art. And um, I saw some that were starting with a colored background like this. I just took some watercolors and just dribbled them on this page. You can see that kind of went swirly around like that. I dribbled some here. I made a blob there. This got really dark in here. I put a line of green through a little bit of this other blue and I just spritzed it some, some more water, let it run around and then I just put it out in the uh, sunshine to dry. And this is what I ended up with. So I am just going to go around these shapes to start with. And that's where my base of my art is going to come from. I, I still, I like to have a border, but I really don't, these go all the way to the edge. I, I, I wouldn't normally do that, but I'm wondering if I, if I do a weird kind of a, like that, where I have sort of a half a border, if that would make me interesting. And yes, I still have the Band-Aid on my thumb because I'm still recording all on the same day. You guys have probably noticed the Band-Aid on the last two videos. It's fine. I broke a fingernail, actually. And uh, I'm trying to save it. So I've, I've glued the end with a little bit of glue, but I'm put a Band-Aid on it to try to keep it as protected as possible. I'm hoping that I save the end of the nail. Uh, it, it cracked across like this, but it also split down like that. And it's that downward split that I'm trying to uh, keep from being really bad. So you might see that Band-Aid for a while. Let's do this like that and around that blob like that and around the blue like that and this green is clearly its own demarcation. <clears throat> and there's another kind of a spot like that. And then there's this one kind of goes out there. For sure, there's this kind of bluish patch that's like that. And there's this like purple arm that comes that way. <coughs> Excuse me. So, <coughs> I 
I'm going to start with that. It's an interesting composition. It just sort of naturally created itself. So then we're just going to, if you know what neurographic art is, you just, you draw whatever you want to draw and then you uh, make those shapes and then you just curve the intersections. Just like that. Just look like a, a map of neurons. Just like so. And that's all there is to it. You just don't want any pointy or angular spots. You want them all to be some sort of curvy. Just like that. And that's all there is to it. Super simple. Easy and fun. But I've never started with a colored piece. I've, the few pieces I do have in color, I've always drawn my piece first and then colored. So this is different. don't have a lot of intersections in this piece so I might want to intersect more spots but we'll see I might like it just as it is this spot here that I've got this where that my two lines don't meet can you see that right there where I've got a goober just come in here I'm just going to make a little bit of a of a thickening of the line. <clears throat> That's another thing that you can do in neurographic art. You can come back through and thicken little bits of your line. But I'm going to do all the interchanges first and then see what I think it needs. Wind is still whipping up a storm out there. <coughs> it gives me allergies every time. I don't know what I'm allergic to. I've never gone and had allergy tests done, but every time the wind blows, I get a bit of a stuffiness. Oh, you didn't see that. Sorry, I gotta remember to keep it out here, not over there. All right, got to look up at my screen more frequently so you guys can see what I'm doing. But it's very simple. Anyone can do this kind of art. It's a lot of fun. And super easy. I'm going to go off the edge here, this one. I could have chosen a little bit thinner of a pen. But that's all right. I get a nice bold line.
I think part of it, the, the thickness on this page is the fact that it's, um, I did use watercolor paper. So my pen is acting and feeling slightly different than it does on the regular paper. Okay, is that all my interchanges? I think so. Let me zoom you out. I feel like I need something going diagonal. So I'm going to add a line going that way. And maybe another line going this way. And perhaps one going like that. And now I'm going to put my curves in these spots as well. Follow that line. I'm not talking much. Once again, I'm just in my own headspace. See, this is why I don't like what drawing all the way to the edge. I get ink on my pen. On my desk. Okay, do this one. had uh, someone in my, actually it was in my group, my uh, alma mater group for um, my high school. And they'd asked, um, what things can you do did, that are available to do digitally that you prefer doing not digitally or having not digitally? I think they, I think they were the original post was was thinking about like reading a book they prefer reading a physical book over a digital copy i prefer physical art over digital art because 
even if you can replicate this look digitally, which many people can, I would not be able to because since I have troubles with digital art, I've never really practiced. I suppose if I practiced enough, I could get really good at digital art. However, um, I prefer feel of the pen on the paper. Um, th that can't be replicated digitally. Um, your the surface of your of your screen or of the tablet that you're drawing on is not going to be the same. Like I can tell the difference that I'm drawing on watercolor paper and not on regular paper because I can feel it in the texture and I can feel it in the way the pen drags. Um, I can feel it in the way the pen reacts with the paper and I have to um, be prepared for that little tiny bit of, of bleeding that it's going to do. Um, there's there's just a bit of physical tactileness, if that's a word, that just can't be replicated by a computer screen because it's flat and glassy, very smooth surface. It doesn't have a texture. And just can people be Digitally. But there's just, it can't replicate the experience of drawing on papers of different textures. And I imagine painting is also the same. I could, I've seen lots of artworks and they look like they're traditionally painted, but they're not, they're done digitally. People are very, very talented, but I imagine that it feels it's a different experience. It doesn't feel the same as mixing colors on a palette and figuring out things without just tapping on a screen and saying, you know, I want a little bit more blue. No, I want a little bit more orange. There's, there's something tactile about it that you just, it doesn't, it doesn't replicate the same. It just doesn't. There's also something about putting pen to paper that you can't erase it. You, you just can't. It is what it is. It's how it's going to be. Oh, I really like, I like this. Do I want it to be something else? Do I want it to have any other place? I feel like it wants to go around like this. Just allow my art to just talk to me. Let it speak to my soul. When, when I can let my art speak to my soul and I can just listen and, and be quiet and still and just create, that's when I'm happiest. I feel like it needs some dots. Wants 
some dots in here. It wants a dot down here. one here. I think I'm done. I think she's telling me I'm finished. She's done. She she has a, a a flow and a um I don't know something about her just feels like just very 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 organic that I couldn't have gotten if I drew it first and then tried to color because I like this gradient this this wash of color that's happening in here. That I wouldn't have done. I, w I just wouldn't have. When I just tried to color it in, I wouldn't have done it that way. And the only way to get that is to just play ahead of time and just let it be what it is and then draw around it. I am very, very happy with this piece. One of my favorites lately. Absolutely. All right. You guys have a great day. Have a blessed weekend. Go out and do something fun for yourself this weekend. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. I haven't got my schedule. Probably working. We'll see. Oh, no. I know what I'm doing. Because I just looked at the calendar again. Tomorrow, I have a memorial service to, to attend uh, one, of our, one of our church members. We, we lost two in the last couple of weeks. And... Uh, one is this upcoming weekend and one's the following weekend and yeah it's 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 tough i don't know i really don't know how much more we can all take of of loss it's been a tough couple of years hasn't it anyway on the brighter note i really really like this piece i will see you guys on the next video you guys have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.